Do you want a nugget of truth to start out your day? If so, you have come to the right place. Here we give you a devotional power boost to the beginning of your day and pray that God will bless you as he sees you on your way. Welcome and so glad you have joined us for yet another daily devotional on Frame with a Mission. I am reading from Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions. Today we are going to be studying What are the greatest dangers for Christians today? Our Bible verse today is found in Romans 12 verses 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may be proved what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Obviously there are many things in our world that threaten our relationship with God. Sometimes people fall rapidly from grace, at other times moving away from truth, happiness, in a subtle manner. One constant temptation for some, and among the greatest of dangers, is dividable loyalties. Many Christians have two loves that divide their hearts, love for Jesus and love for the world and its sinful pleasures. Trying to satisfy both sides won't work. Jesus warned. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to one and despise the other. Matthew 6, verses 24. We must choose one side. God's word, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 1 John 2, verses 15. It is impossible to love the things that we know are wrong and still give our hearts to Jesus. Still, too, many people want to see how closely they can follow the world and still be considered Christians. They want the benefits of Christianity, but they also desire to conform to the world. They want to fit in and participate in the pleasures of the world. People in this situation aren't being honest with themselves or with God. They are attempting to walk a narrow thread that doesn't exist. In contrast, God tells us that we should not be conformed to this world, but be transformed. Romans 12 verses 2. He wants us to be changed and conformed to the image of God, image of Christ, not the world. The Bible says, for whom he fair knew, he also presented to be conformed to the image of the Son, that he might be firstborn among many brethren. Romans 8 verses 29, the Lord wants us to become like Jesus, so we can be trusted in heaven. If you have enjoyed this devotional, then please look around and find the like button and give it a friendly tap on the shoulder. Put a comment down there and tell me which part of this devotional was your favorite, which part you got out a good nugget that you can take throughout the day, um, and just consider subscribing because the more the merrier and, you know, God's family is not a small family. So if you would love to join us in this adventure of Praying with a Mission, Check out what we have below. There are many other options and see you around.